Some men just have this mysterious aura that attracts and make others beg for their attention. While you and many others are either forcing it too much and looking like a fool, or overacting and looking like clowns with no charm. And after that, you may have thoughts that mystery is cringe, it doesn't work, but the only problem is, you do not use it correctly. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you three ways how to gain the right mystery and no longer be this awkward guy that tries to act cool, but is only seen like a fool. And number one is you must be unpredictable. Now, this sounds a bit obvious, like if they cannot read you, they cannot attack you. And also, of course, you command more attention. But on the other hand, how do you actually do it? How do you actually become unpredictable? Well, right now I'm gonna tell you two easy ways you can do it. And number one is to never answer the questions that they ask you. Because seriously, 90% of the questions you get asked, nobody cares about your reply. Oh, how was your day? How are you doing? Do you think they care? The only purpose why they are saying this is not to be silent and kind of keep the conversation going. So why would you just open up for no reason? So what you must do is flip the question around and actually make them intrigued to what you have to say next. For example, never say, oh, today in the morning I did this, then I went gym, then I ate, uh, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. But instead, what you can do is say, damn, today I did a lot of great stuff. And then they say, like what? You better not know. You see what I did there? Now you're intrigued to what I have to say. They actually start thinking and wondering what you could have actually possibly done and not just skip you and go to a different person. And the second way is to ignore, especially women, after you had a moment together. And not be like that guy that is always telling her, oh, you want to hang out tomorrow again? If you ignore, she'll mentally start thinking that she messed up somewhere and she'll become emotionally invested into you. Because if you succeed in holding other people wondering who you really are, you will succeed in attracting them. Number two, stop caring. Let's admit it, 90% of the things that happen to you daily do not make any contribution to your life. Like even go through your conversations. If you didn't know all these things that you were talking about, your life wouldn't change. Then why would you obsess over it? Why would you care? Why would you care what happened to a random dude two days ago when you have dreams to chase? Never react to nonsense and only focus on important. But also, to gain mystery with this point, you should never actually tell others what you're always thinking about. So they always keep wondering, what are you actually always thinking about? What are you obsessing yourself over? Because again, people will start to feel that they're missing out and they'll want to know more about you. But to make that work, which is also our third principle, is you must say less than necessary. Words are actually interesting because they either serve value or you just throw them there and there with no direct goal and no real contribution. And for others to actually appreciate and listen to you, you should not try to gather as much attention as possible and be the loudest. But instead, what you must do is try to speak less than everyone else and only when necessary. Because a lot of people think that if they get the most attention from others, if they say the most, be the loudest, they'll be the most wanted people. No. Usually, the loudest ones are the clowns. So do not just try to impress everyone with your words. Only say when it's really needed. So use these three tricks that I mentioned in this video and you'll see how your mystery levels rise and other people want to listen to you more. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye.